cracking down on shoplifting. In Aurora, city council is proposing stiffer penalties. As Denver 7's Russell Haythorn reports, the punishment, even for first-time offenders, would be much harsher. And that's something business owners are welcoming. In the world of auto parts, nearly everything is a hot target for thieves. We had to move the tools. They'll steal anything they think they can resell or that will have value. Which is why Donovan Welsh, owner of Havana Auto Parts in Aurora, has felt so vulnerable for so long. There was two of them with a getaway car outside. These guys knew exactly what they were doing, what they were looking for. He's been hit dozens of times by thieves and shoplifters. <laughs> So has Giram Alamayu. Right there. Someone used a stolen Hummer as a battering ram to drive right through his front door at g and &E Wine and Spirits in Aurora. We have been experiencing shoplifting you know, for a while without uh, no uh, consequences. But there appears to be new hope for shop owners. Call for the question motion. With the passage of a new ordinance this week by the Aurora City Council that will take the minimum shoplifting offense down from $300 to just $100 and also puts mandatory jail time on any theft. It's a mandatory minimum, three days in jail, not just probation for a second offense. It is a mandatory minimum of 45 days in jail. And on a third offense, it is a mandatory minimum 120 days in jail. Wonderful. We held crime roundtables that where DAs came out, the police officers came out. So to see that actual change last night uh, is a wonderful thing for us because it is something we fight every week. Both Welsh and Alamayu have recently taken steps on their own to prevent theft. It's really skyrocketed, I would say, since COVID. Alamayu put in a metal reinforcement door and three huge boulders out front, but they realize the city's actions are also an important component in curbing a problem that often feels out of control. It would make a difference, I think. As a, an owner, I, I want the city to protect us uh, like that because we do the business on a uh, little margin. In Aurora. We want a city ordinance to have it stop. Russell Haythorn. You want people to feel safe at work. Denver 7. Going in depth, a recent report by the National Retail Federation shows the U.S. cities and metro areas most affected by retail theft. So let's take a look. Los Angeles is on top of this list, followed by the Oakland, San Francisco area, then Houston. Now, the Denver metro area did make the top 10. It tied with Miami and Albuquerque. That ranking is based on the reported inventory losses from nearly 200 retail brands.